Today's adventure brings us to Six Flags Great America for Flavors of the World. An update on Sky Striker. I'm telling you, it could be running. We might actually see it running. Maybe people are actually getting on. And are we finally going to get into Hurricane Harbor? Looks like it's going to be a busy day. Got a busy Father's Day weekend, and we're parking at Robin 54. Welcome back to Six Flags Great America. We're here on a very busy pre-Father's Day, Saturday, June 15th, 2024. Tomorrow being Father's Day. Ton of traffic already. Flavors of the world is going on. Actually looking forward to seeing some of the varieties along with at least some trial runs with Sky Striker because I know they are super close. And once that opens, American Eagle will be open and the train will be running. And depending on the weather, it is in the 70s, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, Hurricane Harbor is finally open. By the way, I'm wearing an appropriate shirt for parking in Robin 54. We do have our Batman shirt on. And Batman, DC, Looney Tunes are the main characters. Gotta watch out for some of this traffic over here. The main characters for Six Flags. So I said, hey, don't forget to put your Batman shirt on today. And everything looks like it is in operation today. Except, you know, from a distance, American Eagle is kind of holding out hope here that this is open. Oh, and the Ferris wheel. It's a great day to be back here. So Flavors of the World is going on every Saturday and Sunday in the month of June. And I believe over where you see Raging Bull straight ahead in the Southwest Territory, is where all the vendors are going to be set up and it might be closer to the two o'clock range so we'll check out the park we'll see exactly when flavors of the world there it goes there it goes. i'm rooting for this is it going to make it back up ah there it goes here's some of the events happening at great america flavors of the world happening right now then to follow six flags fireworks celebration presented by coca-cola and then the great summer nights. Speaking of Coca-Cola, when you get a season pass going into hometown square, they give you a bottle where you can get free soda. Of course, I leave it at home, so I, I remember this like as I'm like halfway here today. So unfortunately, we won't be getting free refills with our souvenir bottle. So if I want anything, I'm going to have to pay one of these. This is probably the fifth or sixth time I've been here this year, they are pushing the flash pass. Lines are taking longer, it does take time to load people on and off of the rides and I think it's it's a ploy to get you to get that, that flash pass. I haven't done it yet, but if you do have a season pass, you do get four skip the lines in that season. I haven't used any yet. I'm kind of holding on to them. Of course, you can always get here early, you know, 45 minutes out of the park, but not seven minutes after the park opens up like I just did. Ooh, the wizard's running. Okay, we'll check the wait time on the wizard. Of wait times here, Batman on the ride, 15 minutes. Let's see where the wizard is. Five minutes for Demon, so it's still early enough that Goliath, no minutes. Still early enough that we could bypass a couple of lines, but yeah, after that, that's when that flash pass really comes in. And it's because people have probably been anticipating this along with American Eagle, but it is good to see that the Wizard is running. You can hear it now. It's a classic ride. Probably the first roller coaster I ever went on at Great America. And you know it's a good day when they have the misters coming down. Summer has arrived. I don't know if I've ever noticed Taz over here before. It's the headquarters for Flavors of the World Food Festival. All the choices in the Southwest Territory. Here's some of the pavilions now. Greek Grub. And from France, French Fair. India. So yeah, they're all different tents pavilions scattered throughout the Southwest Territory. As a recording of this, you have two more weekends to take advantage of the flavors of the world. Only happening at 
Six Flags. Watch the uh, Raging Bull drop. Just posted a five minute wait. You ever seen the world's largest space invaders? Here it is. Two player game. Look at the size of this arcade. Enormous. It's the arcade in the Southwest Territory. Of course, the DC superheroes. What is Six Flags without DC? Did see one of these at SeaWorld. I mean, I say to that on our open day when we were here. And I love this. This is this is awesome. Like that artwork, late '70s, early '80s. Just kind of looking forward to the China. Not sure if I'll make the taste or not. There's a there's a packet to get. They do have everything kind of hidden over here. And you can kind of see inside of the operation here. It does start later this afternoon. We'll see how long we stick around. The Hall of Justice is straight ahead now. I do have a, a goal that I want to hit every ride at least once, and I know that's, that's not that big of an achievement, but with the lines being the way that they are, and noted that I have four skip the lines that I'm saving near the end of the season, I haven't been on inside of the Hall of Justice, Battle for Metropolis. And I said on the way on the way here, I was talking to Zod Rider. I think I wanted to jump in the Hall of Justice, get that right, achieve today. Left Twix or the right Twix. How come peanut butter Twix is so hard to find? I do like the caramel, but I could go for an occasional peanut butter Twix now and then. It's looking pretty promising here that the line's not gonna be too long for Battle for Metropolis. Let's jump inside the Hall of Justice. Oh my gosh, guys, the American Eagle's running. Look at this. Are you ready to get out there and represent the Justice League? It won't be easy, but we've got to save Metropolis before it's too late. Let me tell you about the Reserve Team Vehicles, or RTVs as I like to call them. They're high-tech military vehicles that were developed by the government's anti-supervillain task force, ARGUS. The RTVs are self-guided hovercrafts, so you can focus on blasting. Oh, speaking of blasters, the RTVs are outfitted with multifunctional blasters that can shoot EMP waves that deactivate electronics and destroy inert objects. Fortunately, they only stun human targets and won't cause any permanent injury. Regardless, you should use these blasters with caution because they are really powerful. We'll also equip you with special glasses that have night vision capability. They'll protect your eyes from any flying debris that you might encounter in the field. Okay, well, we're stuck on the ride and it's kind of rebooting. We just defeated Lex Luthor and the Joker and we're right at the end over here. So, here's my score. At this time, Justice League Battle for Metropolis is currently experiencing a temporary delay operation. Please remain seated. With your lap bars now, please remain seated. Talk about repetitive music. Listen, it's probably close to five minutes. Top spot. Booyah! How about we celebrate this 
some laughing gas. <laughs> We made it through. Got this one in the bag. We did Battle for Metropolis. Great America. When we got out of the Hall of Justice, we were actually sitting next to a gentleman from Milwaukee, so it was cool that we had two Wisconsinites trapped inside the Hall of Justice together. Really interested to see. So there's Sky Striker straight ahead. We'll head that direction, see what the wait time is. For American Eagle, dare I say, maybe we get two rides in today. This be the thumbnail right here. I can see the title right now, Trapped Inside the Hall of Justice, Battle for Metropolis. And an update on the train, still out of commission right now, but there is a crew working on the tracks. There's a demon going by. Maybe another week, two weeks and the train will be running again at Great America. Wanted to take it around and sit on both the left and the right hand side and get the views of the park. Here it comes. There's Goliath off in the distance. One of the fastest roller coasters here. Update for American Eagle. This attraction will open at 12.30 p.m. current time. You can see that it's 12.03. I might just kind of camp out here. I'd like to actually get on the American Eagle. There's Sky Striker. I mean, it's all lit up. You can see the lines are in. Get some concrete here. The last time we were here, this is just about to be done. I wonder, for a week, two weeks out from this actually opening up. I think we're gonna come right back here. There's a couple of people waiting just after 12, 12.30 they're opening. Luck of the draw to head over this direction and avoid you know, a 30, 40 plus minute wait. Wizard is actually 30 minutes. So Wizard, the line is longer than X-Flight, which Probably because this might be one of the first days Wizard has actually been open. You look at some of the merch here, Wonder Woman, $17.99. So we're waiting for American Eagle to open up. Also Batman, if you remember this comic where he had all the different colored suits, $19.99. Now if you are a season pass holder, you just scan your card and you get 20% off every purchase, whether it's food or merch at Six Flags. Here's a classic Superman. Man, that is just screaming like 81, 83. I mean, this reminds me of something I had. Kind of a smaller Superman than S, but this colored t-shirt, early 80s, $34.99. To see on the side, Superman, nothing on the back. And plenty of Funko Pop figures. Smile, you are on Six Flags TV. We better smile, say hello. The most DC Funko Pops probably ever see in one place. Here's a blast from the past. Look at the MTV, $24.99. They're doing some test runs on American Eagle. That's what we saw when we walked out of Battle for Metropolis. It's moving really slow up to the top. I mean, just in comparison here, how much faster X-Flight's going. I wanna put all my eggs in one basket. Hopefully, the 12.30 is legit and they'll let us come on. celebrations going on at Six Flags. Flavors of the World running June 8th through the 30th and then July 4th, 5th and 6th nightly fireworks. Finishing touches on the Sky Striker and off in the distance. American Eagle. Let's see if it's going any faster this time. People are starting to kind of line up here. It's moving faster. Maybe it takes a couple. This is going on right next to me. I'm opting that I'm going to get on the first run. I guess it depends on how many people with the flash pass show up, but I'm just going to camp out here. There's probably about six, seven, eight people ahead of me. Gentleman off to the side. 
And yeah, we're gonna get on one of the first runs. As long as they open, it's just a matter of 12, 10 minutes. Get on American Eagle. I didn't think this was actually gonna be open today. Maybe we'll luck out and we'll get on Wizard, but I mean, I'll take American Eagle and Battle for Metropolis as a win today. I'm witnessing history over here. They might actually, are they gonna test this out? Well, I guess not with the gentleman up there working, but you can see they're opening them up, they're lowering them. There's another American Eagle going up. Somebody was in the last one, sitting in the front row. What scares me as it gets slow right about there. Kind of having the Sky Trek Tower flashbacks all over again. Are these people really crazy enough to get on this? What if it stops up there? This move is so slow, I actually had to look past the camera to make sure it didn't stop. Do they do it on purpose? Look at this. It's like a caterpillar up there. Pretty slow. No, maybe not. Maybe that's the. It has been years since I've been on the American Eagle. It looks like it's been years since they painted it. It's it's as old as I am. Starting to line up all around the side, so we're all anticipating that it's going to open up at 12:30. Hey, nine more minutes. Well, Drizzle's open the cheesecake on a stick. It's right on American Eagle now. Approaching any minute yet. Look at the line. It's all the way. It's almost blocking the entire walkway to get through. Wait for it. Someone's coming down. Could it be? Could it be? You ever see Mr. Destiny? Could it be this one? It's the fast pass. Ooh, the flat or the flash pass, I should say. There we go. Looks like we got the green light. years since I walked through this it all used to be back in here before they did this kids area you wait in the lines and then you come out here overlooking Sky Striker is that the train nice. guys we're seeing it all today starting to come together here. Think about the millions of people since 1979 that have crossed over this road right here. Going on the American Eagle. An awesome ride. Man, I was so lucky to get, not only get on it today, we get on the first train, and just something to keep in mind, if you're coming to Six Flags, it does take a little long to load and unload passengers. Like, this is gonna be the continuing flow for 2024, so I hate to say it, but upgrading to that Flash Pass, if you wanna come here and get all the rides in, it might be your only bet, unless you're coming on like an off day, maybe like a Tuesday or Wednesday, but American Eagle, it's a classic. Uh, <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, you're going on American hey, Eagle. Yeah, we're going to go on American Eagle. And, um, is this you know, your first time this I year? I really support this guy. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, Follow yeah, him yeah. On, on the gram, you know. 
Uh, really good guy and everything right, like that. Have a, have a fun time. Is this your first time there? Is this your first time going on American Eagle? It is? Oh, use your words, bro. Are you excited? Yes. yes. Alright. Alright, have fun. And I did ask, when did this officially open? And I was told one week ago, so I believe last weekend was the opening weekend for American Eagle. I was kind of hoping it was... Oh, excuse me. I was kind of hoping it was this weekend to say, hey, I was on the first one. I was on the first train for 2024 American Eagle. And I will admit that even though it's the flavors of the world, it's hard to pass on hamburgers, you know, like Johnny Rockets, like this would be a go-to if I was gonna eat, if you right here. It is cool to try the other foods they have, the events, like it's just, it's an exciting variety they have and something different, but I'm such a cheeseburger guy. I never noticed the barber in front of County Fair. I never, I never saw that right next to the Goliath Arcade, now a smoking designation. It's a train again. What we're really waiting for is official launch of the train with Sky Striker just about complete. American Eagle now open, Wizard opened. This is it. So we'll walk past some of the water rides. See if those are running the last time we were here. None of the water rides were running, and neither was Hurricane Harbor, which we still gotta pop in and just kind of check out because we missed it the last time we were here. So Loggers Run still not in operation. Head into the DC Universe. Check the wait time on Batman. It didn't look like it was running earlier, but as I was walking up, I did see the coaster was running. But unfortunately, you know, Aquaman's ride over there isn't running either. Like the water rides are still down. I wonder if it's 4th of July now. I kind of thought that now that Six Flags is open during the weekdays, not just Saturdays and Sundays, everything would be open. Or the Gotham City Arcade still not open either. I wonder if if it's still an arcade or I was just thinking about Fright Fest like where exactly some of the, the haunted houses are, the scare zones. Maybe it's in places like this. I could be way off on that, but there's the Aquaman ride. Nothing is uh, happening over there. Aquaman splashdown. And then I know that the Rapids ride, or I wanna say Roaring Rapids, is just around the corner. Okay, so actually Aquaman was open. It's just closed today and the staff over there was very helpful. So he said there's a bug, like, there's a bug on you. On my arm, like, <laughs> I feel like a jerk. Oh my gosh, so Aquaman Splashdown could be open. PD7, PD7. Okay. Is this your first time, uh, Hi guys. is this your first time here this yeah. season? Yeah. Yeah, what'd you guys go on today? The lion, the lion. Oh, what else? Sorry, I'm kind of nervous. Night, okay, well have fun. I've never been on YouTube before. See you guys later. Bye. The Gotham City Snacks. I could be way off on the scare zone in the Gotham City Arcade. Actually, as we get closer, I guess we'll enjoy summer before I start thinking Fright Fest, but I'm wondering where some of those haunted houses are. Batman looks long. And what's, what says that is, you know, if it gets backed up over here in kind of the, the, the Gotham City Park, you get all those, those back and forth dividers that just seem like they take forever and it's just taking a long time to load people so I guess you get here early you get here when it opens you get on a couple of rides and then you you either deal with the crowds or you spend a ton of money and you get the flash pass and it's just it's a lot of money I recommend getting the season pass you get four skip the lines and you know if you're close there's no pressure on getting everything done that visit and actually the water was flowing Memorial Day weekend when we were here I believe it was a Saturday there's no water in here so it's completely shut down today it was a good sign last time we were here to just see some kind of progress some kind of water flowing it was a good sign there's a picnic grove entrance right over here I wonder if you can bring your own food or if that's for parties over there I never really noticed that before you know, when you walk into the DC universe, like, it's 
hard not to just see the Joker, the Flash, Batman, and Aquaman. It's a train right across. I was told that it's been a while since Roaring Rapids has been running. I hope there's more water rides, but I guess you always have Hurricane Harbor. Kind of wanted to do an all water ride video once they all open up and it's hot enough. But this doesn't look like anything's happening. Like there's this, this is supposed to be a river. Looks like there's daily party gras going on. Showtime's 3.15 in the afternoon, right in the Mardi Gras area before you hit the DC Universe. The steam again, it's a great day to go under that steam. The cold steam. It's the Condor, Superman the Ride, and the Dark Knight off to the right. Had to make a pit stop to check out the world's largest Pac-Man and Galaga. Galaga is on here too, but we got Pac-Man. Guinness Book of World Records, guys. World's largest. And here's Galaga. We'll check out the Sky Tower and a look inside of Hurricane Harbor before we hit it. Pretty good day at Great America. And I feel we accomplished something by getting on American Eagle by getting in the Hall of Justice and actually getting out of the Hall of Justice. The Sky Tower all the way to the top. That's gonna do it for today. I wanna to thank everybody for watching. We're heading out of Great America. I'm gonna get out in the parking lot, walk a little bit, and head to Hurricane Harbor. The only way to get there is leaving here probably stamp in the hand and then entering a completely different entrance in the past it was the southwest territory you could get there should have called this hand stamps required i didn't have a wristband on so when we did the intro i didn't say no this wristbands required six flags great america usually i have a couple of spares on me so that's why there was no wristbands mentioned I'm gonna head over just around the corner so we leave the entrance, you can see Superman over here, parking lot. And we walk down here and you can see all the water rides. And there's a ton of people already. You can see a bunch of inner tubes. Never step foot inside of Hurricane Harbor. There's two ways to enter, entrance only, or the priority Diamond Pass member, which I believe I have. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk down here. Just kind of walk around. I'd like to stop here for a day and enjoy it kind of get my feel for it and know what it's all about I guess because I've never been to Hurricane Harbor. It's cool we're inside of Hurricane Harbor there's ships I actually saw this when I was on the Sky Tower which is right over here they have a lazy river and of course Bugs and Babs. That's what I'm all about right here like I come to these places I just want to hang out in the lazy river you can just go around here all day long. Actually I think it was right here this seems hold on doc employees only this what this was the spot it's coming through here Let's see if we can see through here what are we looking at yeah that's the walkway I just saw that when we were in line for Viper the last time we were here heading into Riptide Bay it's a lot bigger than how it looks in the parking lot like you don't see all of this stuff you just see a couple of the water slides. Take a look at the park directory. That's how big Hurricane Harbor is. Looking for the you are here. Here we go. I just want to go up to, I just remember, he was one of the first, like I'm sure it's expanded over the years. Like this was probably like the OG and then it kind of kind of ramped up over here, especially there's kind of a roller coaster type water slide. But I just want to go up and check out Skull Island. Hurricane Hanks, Island Traders, tourists, welcome. And overlooking the entrance to Skull Island, we have a pirate right here. And when enough water fills up, the big bucket of water just shoots right underneath that skeleton with the red eyes. And this is pretty cool. I mean, you can see. The rides are going and you're just you're just hanging out, getting wet, checking out pirates, and checking out huge sharks in Gurney, Illinois. 
I want to thank everybody for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I, I'm impressed. I thought it was going to be smaller. Like where I'm from, it's the water park capital of the world. Wisconsin Dells, there's a, there's a ton of water parks up here. I mean, it's actually closer for me to come here than to go there. And yeah, I'm impressed with what they have. You got something, roller coaster, water slides, lazy rivers, wave pools, plenty of slides. The years that I stood on the other side of this fence, like now on this side, like I know it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, this opened, I want to say like 2002, let's let's just say 2002. 22 years later, I finally make it over to Hurricane Harbor. And the old entrance from the Southwest Territory. And it's cool that the Looney Tunes theming is a part of Hurricane Harbor as well as Great America. I learned my lesson that you got to stay on this path when you're walking to Six Flags and when you're walking back to the car. That's how to go over there. Because there's cars coming in every direction and it's easy to just walk right in front of one of them. So this is the safest place. I'll take you all the way back. A little bit of a hike, but I'm back at Robin 54. This is becoming the spot I'm parking. And when I did park over here, it was the only car. Now, there's cars everywhere. It turned out to be a pretty busy day at Six Flags. Hope everybody has a happy Father's Day. Thanks for watching, thanks for being here. We'll see you next time.